Welcome to Gate Instructions. The following video will show you how to clearly record your dog's gait so that we can use it for research purposes. Before you get started, it's important to calibrate the space and set up your camera properly. Please put two pieces of bright tape on the ground, eight feet apart from each other. If you don't have tape, it's okay to use other markers, like sticky notes, that stay on the ground. Next, mount your camera so that its height is level with your dog's body. Make sure it's on something stable, like a tripod, a table, or a chair. If your dog is short, it's okay to also use a stack of books. Don't worry about having a fancy camera or not. An iPhone will do perfectly fine, as long as the camera doesn't move for the entire clip. Move your camera back so that it is wide enough to capture both pieces of tape within the frame. Once the camera is in the appropriate position and mounted in a secure manner, do not adjust the camera's position for the rest of the clip. Now you are ready to move on to the first task, walking on leash. Walk your dog on a leash at a comfortable pace between the two markers. While your dog is walking between the two markers, the dog should not turn or accelerate. It may be easiest to walk in a large circle, so that while your dog is between the markers, it is at its steady state. Please repeat this at least 10 times. Here are a few examples of what not to do. You should not be walking between the two markers instead of your dog. You should not be between the camera and your dog while your dog passes between the markers. Your dog should not be starting or stopping while between the markers. Task 2. Off-leash walking. You and a partner should stand on either sides of the tape, approximately 4 feet back from the markers themselves. With a handful of treats in your hands, call your dog between you and your partner. While your dog is walking between the two markers, the dog should not turn or accelerate. Your dog should be walking for this task. Please repeat this at least 10 times. Here are a few examples of what not to do. You should not be standing on the tape, because then your dog might turn within the markers. Your dog should not be off plane. Your dog should also not run. If your dog is too excited to walk, keep doing this exercise until the dog calms down. Task 3. Sit and Stand Ask your dog to sit, standing a few feet in front of your dog. Then, call your dog to you and feed him or her a treat. Your dog should still be positioned between the two pieces of tape. Please repeat this at least ten times. Next, you will calibrate the space with a yardstick. Hold a yardstick vertically in the same plane as the two pieces of tape, and call your dog over so that your dog is standing near the yardstick. Then, turn your yardstick so that it is horizontal and still near your dog. After two or three seconds, you can put your yardstick away. The last thing for you to do is take your dog's measurements. First measure forelimb length by taking the distance from the floor to the point of the shoulder. You can find the shoulder by following the shoulder until you feel a point. Next, take the hind limb length by measuring the distance from the floor to the point of the hip. The hip is usually a little higher than the shoulder. Then measure thigh circumference by measuring the widest part of your dog's thigh. This is usually the highest part at which the dog's thigh attaches to the body. Finally, measure body length the distance from the base of the neck to the base of the tail. Here are some examples of what not to do while measuring your dog. Do not ask your dog to lie down. Do not measure the thin part of your dog's thigh. Do not pull the measuring tape too taut. Do not measure from the elbow rather than the shoulder, or the knee rather than the hip. Thanks for watching.